Good evening, this is Cheryl PV coming to you on day number 11 of Time to Live My Purpose Journey. Now, if you're just joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome. And if you're tuning back in to me, I want to say welcome. And I want to say thank you for everyone who has sent me encouraging messages. I thank you so much. I appreciate you. When you do that, it, it makes me feel good. It feeds into me. It helps me become less fearful so I can become fearless. I thank you for tuning in. Also, I normally give a quick recap about the several past days that I've talked about, but by it being Mother's Day weekend, I just don't want to take too much time up, and I just really want to get into the heart of this message today. And hopefully you can go back, look me up, Cheryl PV, and you can see my videos from day 10 to day one. I want to talk about something very important. I'm just going to read some quotes first and then I'm going to get into the message. Lots of people won't, excuse me, lots of people want to ride in the limo, but what you want is someone who will take the bus with you when the limo breaks down. Surround yourself only with people who are going to take you higher. You can't be friends with someone who wants your life. Listen to that again. You can't be friends with someone who wants to live your life. Hello, got to say it again. You can't be friends with someone who wants to live your life. And last, if friends disappoint you over and over, that's in large part your own fault. Once someone has shown a tendency to be self-centered, you need to recognize that and take care of yourself. People aren't going to change simply because you want them to. People are not going to change simply because you want them to. All of these quotes I just said, quotes that Oprah, excuse me, Oprah Winfrey has said over the several past years. So today I want to talk to you about friends. Friendship. To me, in my opinion, a friendship is a gift. It's to be treasured. It's you giving yourself your time, your mind, your energy to someone else in hopes that you will get the same thing back in return. A friendship is supposed to be 50-50. I give the same amount to this friendship. You give the same amount. And a lot of times, that doesn't happen. Now, I love these quotes because if you really think about what she's saying, is that a lot of times when you become successful, people only want to be around you when you're successful. But when sometimes when things change and you may not be on that high road or something can happen where it steps you back a notch, you want to be surrounded with somebody who's genuine, your friend. So let's say, for instance, let's say, you are just starting out. Think about it. Oprah's best friend is Gail, and I don't remember her last name, but think about it. She is basically saying that you uh, you want a friend who's there from the beginning. You want a friend that stuck with you from the beginning of your journey to the end. And a lot of times, like she says, people will show you who they are. So basically, when I talk about friendship, I just want to say to you, Please guard yourself, examine your friendships. If you're giving more to others, I can't tell you stop being friends, but take the time and say, wait a minute, I'm always calling this person, I'm always texting, I'm always this, I'm always putting more in, I'm always going to get the, you know, picking the person up, or I'm always paying, whatever the case may be, examine that friendship. And a lot of times, if you have friends and you're around them and they are starting to drain you, you're like getting a headache or you're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to hear this complaining. If you're noticing your demeanor change when you're around a certain person, you got to examine that friendship as well. Because I call that like energy vampire, a person taking your energy who's supposed to uplift you, encourage you and support you. So... To me, and this is all my opinion when I'm talking to you about friends, that a friend loves at all times. A friend trusts you, but you trust them. And a friend will have your back when you're down and out. 
So for me, I've always have a wall up because I've been hurt by a lot of people in the course of my life. So I put this wall up to guard myself with people. I really, really listen to the things that people say. I watch their actions. I watch how they treat me. I watch how they treat other people. And that's the determination of friends. You know somebody who's fake and phony and not authentic. I mean, we're old enough to realize that by now. So I'm just saying to you, in order to be successful and on this road of success, or just even just living your life, Make sure you have positivity around you all the time and make sure you're not allowing people to use you because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are unique. You are special. You are called for a purpose. And so is everybody. And just because you know what your purpose is and you're walking in it, do not allow someone to take from you, to take your energy, to take you off course. Surround yourself with positive people so you have positive energy, so you can be the best that you can be. And also, in this life, it's wonderful to have communion with other people. It really is. But you want to also have fun, and you want to be in a friendship, just like I quoted from her. You want to have friends. Surround yourself with people who will take you higher. So if you're always talking to someone who's complaining like, oh, my life is horrible, it's terrible, I can't get this. Every time I get a step ahead, I get pushed back 10. If you're hearing this complaining, complaining all the time, guess what? You got to cheat them on a long handle spoon. And it's not wrong, but you can't allow your purpose to be altered by someone else who doesn't recognize what they're called to do. I know we're called to be a blessing to others or we're supposed to help people, but also we have to take care of yourself. We have to take care of us. And you want to make sure you're surrounded by a whole bunch of love and support. Again, this is Cheryl Peavy. I've come to you on day number 11 of Time to Live My Purpose Journey. I hope that I have gave you a little bit of nuggets of something to help you and it just might be just the quotes that I've said that help you recognize about friends. I mean, honestly, you may have just one friend and that's all you need. You don't need a slew of friends, but I can't tell you that. But a lot of times if you look at your life, there's a difference between a best friend, good friends and associates. And I know I want to surround myself with people who are going to push me, encourage me, challenge me to be better. And a lot of times I've recently heard a couple of people tell me that they have more friends via social media than they have surrounding themselves in their own circle. So to me, I agree. I'm starting to connect with a lot of people who are on this journey of living their purpose. And a lot of times when you connect with people who are interested in the same thing you're interested in, then that's where friendships develop. And I just love social media. I love the people that I'm meeting because they're encouraging me, challenging me, strengthening me, and I'm going on different levels. And that's important. And I just want to thank you again for tuning in to me. Hopefully I fed something into you. And I look forward to talking to you tomorrow on Mother's Day. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.